Park can only batter down a play on the far side. And that must be pretty much it. Here come the Ducks, there's no keeper in that bear. That's the championship. Well, Mirko Prouser has probably just won himself the top goal scorers award as well. He won't worry about that. This is not a game for individuals. This is a game for teams, and we're watching two very special teams out there. Game, set, and match to the Netherlands. Well, to show respect, they have to finish this last 17 seconds. Belgium will take the pushback, but it was the overhead pass. Neupar didn't get there. Prouser, professional to the end, opens the blade. Thierry Brinkman provided the pass. He slides his stick under the ball to pop it over the last defender. Now Stanzel. Corper. Oh, and it's squeezed in. It's squeezed in. And Austria are back on terms. And I'm looking up at the clock. And I'm seeing we've got three and a half minutes left. Oh, what drama. Chris, they can do it now. I think this is going to go down as a Corper goal. I think it's a defensive touch. Change of goal. In the end, as it comes in, Corper drives it down. It goes across. It is, it's heart on heart. One of the two brothers gets the final touch as Corper just puts everything behind it, drags it back foot to front, and between the two of them, it's lifted and touched up into their own goal. Who takes it on and goes high. And Ireland have a lead. Oh, that was a wonderful corner. There we go. That was a very special flick from Shane O'Donoghue. And said that D'Souza can only admire the skill there. Ireland fans applauding. Well, fair play, I don't know who I said go low. He's absolutely put that postage stamp it from a classic postage letter. Stamp. He couldn't have picked it and run with it in his hand and put it any better. Postman is ducking for cover. The goalkeeper tries to go over the top but doesn't explode enough to get there. Wouldn't have got there regardless. That is an absolutely brilliant flick. Oh, it's, in. it's gone in again. And this Charlier. time, this time it's Cedric Charlier. And the Dutch defenders look at each other. And history is repeating itself here. Dutch doing all the pressing, the Dutch winning the corners, but it's Belgium scoring the goals. Well, Charlier was the man who didn't get the first goal. He said it had hit his stick when the ball got fed in. We went to video replay. This one, however, absolutely no doubt. It's a cheeky little touch behind the body. Pierman Black probably doesn't see it through the defender until too late, but it's gone over the top of his leg guard. It's actually Sam van der Ven, Sam in, van der Ven, the, Ven sorry. in the net. Shot comes over, that's too good. That's too good. All square again. Lucas Finfetter very quickly putting himself into the top league of drag flickers in the world at the moment. Let's watch it again. Pina. Oh dear. Now George won't be happy with that. You'll see on the replay that he's already set up well to his right. Uh, and the keepers will do that in the knowledge that they can then go with their full the injection's got to be right. As it comes. Nicely done, it's crept past the goalkeeper. And now Belgium do have the lead. Well, I'm sure you all uh, want to talk about the goalkeeper's contribution here, Simon. But Belgium have the lead. And that won't do Tom Burns' confidence any harm at all. Well, Pemmer Black just doesn't get down, the postman doesn't get fired, Boom puts everything behind it. But that's very much a goalkeeper's channel. Should have read that better, Pemmer Black. Look, the knee, there's no extension. He's dropped straight at the ball, hasn't gone sideways at all, probably disguised from the edge of the circle. Boom may well have taken it out to come back, but doesn't get anything, doesn't drop a knee inside to create an ice hockey style barrier, doesn't get his hand down. Man of his. <laughs> Dutch very deliberate with a second it. here. As it comes, it's wide for Vida. Oh! Well, Van der Veerden has found his shoe.
shooting boots by rotating off the right hand offensive castle. He's found space, he's able to go round Gunnard. That's the whole point, the, the goalkeeper can't see it, it changes the line of the flick. There's nothing Manash can do, Gunnard gets inside it but it's opened up so much space. Gunnard is appealing by the Vin, he's ecstatic obviously, he's put everything... Jimmy Wall, I think they can still have oh, one more chance. chance. There's a chance, there's a chance now. Could be interesting. Roper. This could be very interesting. Roper what will... Here. Roper there it win. is. Roper has won it, surely, for England. That's the danger of the kicking back. Middleton off the bench, having sustained an injury. Shows huge heart in giving chase. He fed it to one of the England players. Well, brilliant work there from Middleton and then Roper, but Paul Muller, they're trying to play the pass in and you couldn't have asked for a better person to be on the end of that pass than Barry Middleton, who then sets up Roper. Martin Hayner was trying to match Roper stride for stride. Never say that Martin... Ready, cut! Out of is this the moment. Shot comes in! Well, it was Vin Fedder's original shot, but I think it's taken a deflection along the way. And it's beaten England's uh, restricted defence options. Yeah, Nick, two key points to make here. Number one, going back to it, just how how easy and innocuous that corner came from, from a bad mistake on the centre line. And then, of course, you're making that mistake to the most clinical team there is. They've worked out that they've got one less defender. They've worked out where that defender is going to leave the space. So instead of instead of it being a one-on-one -on -one battle between Vin Fetter and, and George Pinner, they've they've utilised the variation and given given England no chance. Dutch simply forces over the line, the Dutch have forced it over the line. Mirko Plows are the goal scorer. Three, four and five phases after the first flick, which flattered the front edge of the crossbar that didn't go over the line. It must have been very close, let's see a replay of that. Almost leaving a Russian line to the Belgian team together in the huddle, they need to... Have a little chat here. Well, Van der Veen has gone up. He's rolled off to the right-hand castle. Van Ash gets a foot and a foot again. D deny it on the line. And all of a sudden, it's punched in. Clever move. And the number one oh, right. That's the move. Me. Great from prone to get it back towards the goalkeeper. Van Ash doesn't extend his left hand. This is flicked. So hard. That is nuts. Brilliant. Having watched the uh, I know what, I know what review saying, themselves were very uh, accepting of the decision. There's no whistle there, because I, I played on for an unhandling, okay, so I'm happy that it's a goal, it's come off the Spanish stick, okay? Wait, did you ask for the It's outside, I didn't blow the whistle. Scottish girls just having a conversation okay. here, This is the point it. that you were making, uh, yeah. Kate, about the Scottish girls thought the umpire had blown for a free hit, but she she hadn't. Thanks, Carol. This is Rhea going at speed down the right hand side, gets her head up, spots the pass, it's a beautiful pass. England with a real chance here, shoot! Goal for England! Hannah Martin, the goal scorer, but a wonderful run from Rhea, and what made it for me is that we saw Rhea just getting her head up, and in that split second, she looked and she saw and she gave, and Martin did the rest. Well, the game needed to go, it's got one, and it's Hannah Martin. Raya showing her pace, Germany's getting their defending all wrong, Hannah Martin wide open. Goalkeeper jump came out, tried to close Hannah Martin down, but Hannah Martin just able to turn, find that bit of space, and a back space, forehand shot. Three German defenders back there, and they couldn't keep it out. So, joy for Hannah Martin. And England uh, have the lead in this bronze medal game. Obviously playing down the left foot every time. Oh, lovely finish. Well, how has that found its way in? Alex Danson celebrates. Germany have conceded. And surely now England 
have secured the bronze medals. Well, there was danger, but it wasn't the most dangerous situation. No, let's watch it again. Dami Mould is saying they're playing the left foot, they're playing down the left foot, and they did the whole way down the sideline, down the left foot. And Bray able to have so much time into the circle, and Alex Danson just times that perfectly. Little pop lead to the ball, very hard to defend. So this is Bray driving and pulling it back for Danson. And it was in and past the goalkeeper before she had moved. Alex Danson scoring for England and Germany predictably take off their goalkeeper and bring on the kicking back, but it may well be too late now. It's not an advantage. We play the free hit. Everyone five. Yes, it's not. Uh, it's not pretty at the moment. It was never going to be. There's so much at stake in this game. Right, oh. And Spain have forced a way through and they've taken the lead here. Well, the pressure is starting to build a little bit on that uh, Scottish defence. And Spain have the lead. Lovely carry down the baseline. Eyes up, just waiting for the lead. Comes across the defender. And, and a, a tight angle in the end, just able to squeeze that under Amy Gibson. Better, better, more riches coming. Go down the line again. There we go. Oh, that'll do nicely. And there's the equaliser. And really, Austria only have themselves to blame because they've gone very flat. We said we thought the Poles just started to raise their own intensity. And uh, they've got back on terms here with a very smart move. There we are up there in the concrete box. It's a great cutting field. There's the ball. Then it's a great pass. Good pick up on the reverse. Spin off the right foot is beautiful. The goalkeeper again has got all his weight in his heels. Just drops. There's no extension. We watch from here. Goalkeeper should be up on his toes. Look as he jumps forward. That jump. Th there's nothing. I just I don't understand why a goalkeeper would simply do drop like that. You have to stay big. You have to stay agile. You have to be ex able to explode sideways. Netherlands now again on a run. Oh, this is where it gets uh, dangerous for England. Trump comes in. There's another one. They're on a roll. Mirko Plauser this time. England caught by the old one-two. How many times have we seen them do it? Goal followed by goal. Mistake followed by mistake. And it's just not England's day. It's an overrun in defence. Could have forced the player wide, Pinner could have gone to his near post, but it's into space. Bruce is so strong, rolls around Sanford, he's never going to get a touch on that on the backhand. As soon as Bruce in space, 10 yards, front foot power, drills past Pinner. I think Max Callas is up for it. Ready? Yeah. Oh. takes it, that's got it as well. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong for Ireland. And Spain going through the gears here, the corner again, punishing Ireland. Grosso Flanagan there, shaking his head. Yeah, Riera again. Just, it's, it's on the floor. But that should be a simple save for O'Flanagan. Just, just caught the inside of a kicker. Just off, off the heel, wasn't it really? Off the, yeah. off the ankle. And you, and you saw as she, you know, as the ball crossed the line, of Flanagan's body weight was going slightly backwards. 